Boogeyman is real. And you found him. Hey everyone, welcome to Gargoyle Graphics. This is your Sunday Night Screams, where we curse the sun so we can howl at the moon. This is going to be a wrap-up of everything that happened this week in horror. I'm sure we're going to take a few detours along the way, but I think we got a pretty good show for you. We've got a real mixed bag this week, including creatures, zombies, and let's not forget our Picks of the Week, where we arbitrarily put a spotlight on whatever tickles our fancy. So let's get into it. Passing away February 14th, 1996, Mark Venturini, famous for his role in Return of the Living Dead. And sadly, passing away last week, February 12th, 2022, Ivan Reitman, famous for his screwball comedies of the 70s and 80s, including directing Ghostbusters 1 and 2, as well as his work on the heavy metal animated movie. On Comics Corner from Todd McFarlane via Image Comics, we have King Spawn number 7, sporting two variant covers. Born February 19th, 1893, Sir Cedric Hardwick, famous for his roles in The Hunchback of Notre Dame and the 1942 Ghost of Frankenstein. Born February 15th, 1899, Gail Sondergaard, famous for her role in The Invisible Man's Revenge and The Spider Woman. Born February 14th, 1902, Ray Corrigan, famous for a lot of westerns, but also, oddly enough, a lot of movies involving gorillas and apes, including Bela Lugosi meets a Brooklyn gorilla and the ape, starring alongside Boris Karloff, as well as the monster and the ape and captive wild women. Born February 16th, 1909, Hugh Beaumont, famous for his role in The Mole People. Born February 15th, 1914, Kevin McCarthy, famous for his role in the 1956 Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Born February 17th, 1925, Hal Holbrook, famous for his role in Creepshow and John Carpenter's The Fog. Born February 18th, 1925, George Kennedy, famous for his role in Creepshow 2, Demon Warp, Death Ship, and The Terror Within. Born February 20th, 1926, Richard Matheson, famous horror author with probably his most famous story, I Am Legend, which has been adapted four times into movies. Born February 18th, 1930, Rico Browning, famous for his role as the Gill Man and the Creature from the Black Lagoon, Revenge of the Creature, and The Creature Walks Among Us. Born February 13th, 1932, Barbara Shelley, famous for her role as in Village of the Damned, Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Born February 17th, 1938, Yvonne Warren, famous Hammer alumni, including movies such as Circus of Horrors and Curse of the Werewolf, Corridors of Blood, and Devil Doll. Born February 13th, 1942, Carol Lindley, famous for her role on The Night Stalker. Born February 16th, 1951, William Catt, famous for his role in Carrie House and also as the Great American Hero. Born February 17th, 1954, Don Coscarelli, famous for his writing and directing credits on the Phantasm movies. Born February 16th, 1958, Lisa Loring, famous for her role as Wednesday in The Addams Family. Born February 14th, 1960, Meg Tilly, sister of Jennifer Tilly, and probably most famous for her role in the Psycho 2 movie. Born February 14th, 1964, Zach Galligan, famous for his role in the Gremlins movies. Born February 15th, 1965, Tom Fridley, famous for his role in Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. <laughs> Born February 17th, 1965, Jonathan Brett, famous for his role in the Jeepers Creepers movies as the Creeper, also in the movie Mask Maker. Born February 19th, 1967, Benicio Del Toro, famous for one of my favorites, the remake of The Wolfman. <laughs> Born February 13th, 1968, Kelly Hugh, famous for her role in The Scorpion King alongside The Rock. But she was also in Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. <laughs> Born 
born February 17th, 1969, Tuesday night. And if that's her Christian name, her parents truly hated her. Born February 14th, 1970, Simon Pegg, famous for his role in Shaun of the Dead. Now seriously, uh, uh, Mary, I'm, I'm warning you, okay? I'm gonna have to get physical, I mean it. This is it, I'm gonna, fuck off! Born February 14th, 1976, Erica Learson, famous for her role in Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2, as well as the 2003 remake of The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Born February 14th, 1978, Denai Guerrera, famous for her role as Michonne on The Walking Dead. On February 18th, 1964, CBS officially greenlit the production of The Munsters. The pitch episode was titled, My Fair Munster. And Netflix released a statement this week, as well as some teaser posters for Stranger Things Season 4, stating, quote, Stranger Things 4 is coming to you in two parts. Volume 1 premieres on May 27th, and Volume 2 quickly follows on July 1st. Not only is Stranger Things 4 going to be the most intense season so far, but it's also going to be the biggest. Nearly every episode is supersized. Literally, that means Season 4 is two times the size as Season 3. It goes on to say, And the reason Season 4 is so jam-packed with new locations, new characters, and the biggest threat yet is because these episodes set up the show's final act. Yes, Season 5 will be the epic conclusion to the story, which is how the creators have always envisioned it. End quote. And AMC released teaser posters for its new Interview with a Vampire series, which I could say that I'm less than thrilled about watching. <laughs> Opening February 16th, 1945, The Body Snatcher, featuring Boris Karloff. Opening February 18th, 1953, The Magnetic Monster. Opening February 17th, 1960, Jack the Ripper, the most diabolical murderer who has ever baffled Scotland Yard. Opening February 15th, 1961, Black Sunday. Releasing February 17th, 1965, The Gorgon. Releasing February 14th, 1986, Terror Vision. Releasing February 17th, 1989, The Burbs, starring Tom Hanks. Releasing February 16th, 1990, Nightbreed. Releasing February 15th, 1991, Nothing But Trouble. Releasing February 14th, 1992, Prom Night 4, Deliver Us From Evil. Releasing February 19th, 1993, the Sam Raimi classic, Army of Darkness. Releasing February 14th, 1999, Stephen King's Storm of the Century. Releasing February 18th, 2000, Pitch Black, starring Vin Diesel. Releasing February 18th, 2005, Constantine, starring Keanu Reeves. And our Screen Queen of the Week is the late, great Julie Strain, born February 18th, 1962. She was a B-movie horror queen, as well as a model. She posed as Vampirella during the 90s, as well as being married to the co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Kevin Eastman. And Kevin, during the mid to late 90s and probably into the 2000s as well, owned Heavy Metal Magazine. And so Julie's likeness appeared many times on the cover of the magazine, as well as being the inspiration for the lead character in the Heavy Metal 2000 animated movie. And our kill of the week goes to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the Netflix original that just premiered on February 18th, 2022. And a bit of shameless self-promotion, I did do a review of this movie, so go back and check out that. Spoiler warning ahead, this clip does contain spoilers to the movie, so if you haven't seen it yet and you are inclined to do so, I would stop this video right now, because we're going to show the clip in 3, 2, 1, let's take a look. And our movie of the week is the William Castle classic, House on Haunted Hill, releasing February 17th, 1959, starring Vincent Price. And I think it's fair to say that anything with Vincent Price is always worth a watch. He had such a charismatic screen presence, and this movie is no different. It's an absolute classic in my opinion. Check it out. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it for this week's Sunday Night Screams. Thanks for hanging in till the end. Please like, share, and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. What do you think of this? <laughs> you like it? <laughs>
Ha 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 ha!